Hello, this is Carrie, and I am here to show you a few features about Padlet, which is an absolutely wonderful um, web application where you can build in a wall, a web page, very, very easily. Um, on their site right here, you'll see that they say, keep a handkerchief handy, sheer happiness may make you cry. And people that have been playing with Padlet, um, they really do enjoy it and because of the ease of use. There are many things about Padlet which can be extremely handy in our um, high school setting. It's easy and you can watch these little videos if you like as well. Um, it's easy to use and you can use it from anywhere. It's collaboration which is one of the net standards. Um, so we don't have, it's real time. So as soon as a student or you comments on one of these posts, it goes live. You can embed all kinds of multimedia, YouTube videos, you can put in pictures, you can put a PDF or a Word document from your files. Um, you can set the privacy where you can make it hidden, um, where only a couple people can see it. You can make it view only, you can make it editable. You can work on it from any device. So you can work on it on a, you know, a desktop, a iPhone, a tablet. The layouts are interchangeable. You can pick out the layout you like. It's really fun. Um, these are some of the backgrounds that they have, but you can also put um, your own unique backgrounds on your Padlet. And it's embeddable. So we can take a Padlet and you can put it on your blog or a website and um, can interact with it there. So Padlets are super fun and super easy and impressive. So let me show you a few things about building one. Um, I do recommend that you create an account. It's super easy. You just use your email, and I use my Clark County School District email. And so I'm going to log in before I build my wall. You can log in or sign up. So since I already have an account, I'm going to log in. But when you create one, you can see how easy it's going to be to create it. All you need is the email and you'll set up your password. And by creating an account, you can then save the different walls that you have built. So I'm going to log in. Sorry, I'm having to wait on me to type in my stuff. All right. And over here, you can see build wall. These, this is my account, and these are my different walls. So just to show you, you can see the different walls that they save there. So you can go back and look at them or edit them however you want. But today what we're going to do is we're going to build a new wall so you can kind of see how to get started. So right now we have a blank canvas, and there are many things we can do to our canvas. So the first thing I want us to do is um, we're going to do a background. All right, and we're going to modify this wall in many ways. Okay, so this little gear icon is how you're going to make changes to your wall. All right, so we're going to modify this right here. We're going to give it a title. All right, and you see as I'm typing, this is going to be the title of your actual wall. And then in the description, um, we can put instructions for the students for what to put on the wall. Okay, this is where I would put my, you know, very detailed instructions for adding to the wall. Okay, so we have set the title and we've described what's going to be on our wall. And now let's select our wallpaper or our background. So we're going to come up here to wallpaper. And you can see all the different pretty choices that they have for you. And you also have the option to add your own picture. So if you have a picture that you want to use as the background, you can do that very easily. All right? So for this one, let's do the ocean, because I wish some days I was there. All right, so now we've got a title and a background. And we can also change our layout. OK, I just lost it, so I still want to modify my wall. So remember, I'm going to go back to my gear. All right, let's look at the layout options. You can do free form, which means your posts can be all over the place, or you can stream it, where they can be placed um, one below the other. So it'd be, you know, go down, 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 more streamlined. This one can be just all willy-nilly. 
All right, so for this one, let's keep it freeform. And let's go ahead and do our first post. Okay, so to do a post, it's super easy. All you do is double click anywhere on the wall. All right, and this comes up, and this is going to become a post. Um, if your students were interacting with this, that's all they would have to do too is double click. All right, so this is our um, first post. So the first up top, the red is kind of like the title. A lot of times I'll have us, you know, people add their name there. And then here is if you want to add additional written information or text information. Okay? And then down here, this is what makes Padlet so super cool, is these, you have three options. You can add a URL or a web, using a web address. You can add an image, a video, a map, a document, anything else we can think of that has, you know, a URL that it could connect to. Or we can upload a file. So if you have a Word document or a PDF file or something that you've scanned that's saved on your computer and not up on the web, then you can upload it here as well. Or we can take a photo from our pic from our camera, or I'm sorry, take a use a picture from our um, phone or our iPad or even our computer. Okay. So for this one, let us um, add an image. All right, and see, right now, all I'm going to have to do is paste a URL in there. So let me find a picture. Um, let's see, a sea turtle. I'm doing an image search. Okay, this one's pretty. I'm going to click on it because what I need to get off of it is the URL image. So if I right-click on the actual um, picture, I'm going to copy the image URL. Right? And I'm going to come back to my Padlet and I'm going to right click again and I'm going to paste that URL of that turtle. And while that thing is spinning, it's thinking and it's setting it up, and my picture should be there in just a minute. If all goes well. Hmm. <laughs> oh, technology. Okay, while that is thinking, let's show you another option. All right, let's do another post. So we double click again. This is my second post. And this we're gonna do, we're gonna upload a file, all right? So instead of using a web address, I'm gonna upload a file that's saved onto my computer. And we drop a file or click to browse, so I can actually drag a file in here, or I can click to browse. And on my desktop, I have a couple things that I could put up there. Let's do... I'll do my turtle. No, that's different. Okay, here's a PDF. I'm going to upload this PDF. Okay, I'm not sure why this one isn't working. Let me refresh real quick. Sometimes if your pictures don't show up, refresh it. And that did not work right. Okay, so this image is supposed to show up right there for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this post. I'm going to get rid of that picture. And let's try it getting a different picture. So again, I, got, I clicked on the X to get rid of that picture. I'm going to add a different one. Do another sea turtle. Let's try this pretty one. Right click, copy image URL. Let's see if this one will let us. Sometimes if the picture won't let you, just try a different picture. There we go. And lickety split, there it is. All right, so these posts are kind of small. I want to make it bigger. All you do, you see the green pencil? This is your, it's usually an icon to show that you can edit it. And we can then drag it make it bigger so that people can actually see what's going on in there. Okay, I'll make this one bigger. When you click on it, it takes you to that file. So we click on this X to go back to the wall. Um, let me click on my green pencil 
and I can pull that out and make that bigger okay and so we can move these all around like I said just by dragging moving and you can create as many posts on here as you want okay so double click adds a post you can upload a PDF you can insert an image and you can also insert YouTube videos so let's find a quick uh, YouTube video double click post Oops. And I've heard YouTube was being funny today so it might not work let's see and let's do a sea turtle oh, we'll go to YouTube first and search for sea turtle all about sea turtles and to get the M the URL you go to share and here is the link that we would get for our YouTube video so control C copy go back to our post add image URL paste oh, and there's our sea turtle video okay so, so easy and um, it's pretty cool when you upload a file like this one here let's click on it we can view the document and it's going to show you a picture of it at first but you can then download it from there okay so you could um, open it in new window and go from there okay all right to get back to our page we go here all right so we have three posts and we want to share this now with students we want them interacting with it um, what we then do is we go to this share export okay you see that little arrow out showing you want to share it let's click on that maybe and here is the embed code if we wanted to embed it in something like um, a blog or a website you can provide them you can take a picture of your um, you can use a QR code and here right now is our actual link to our um, to our Padlet what we can do if you'd like is we can change this into something that's unique all right so instead of padlet.wall backslash j60 blah 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 we can give it a name so let's go ahead and do that and we're gonna modify this wall we're gonna change the address okay so we're gonna pick this right now is the our current address which we could share with our students that way or we can change it so pat backslash wall and we want to name this sea turtle all right that one's taken sea turtle 2 all right so if we wanted to we could pick this and this would then be the link that we would share with our students okay another thing you'll want to know how to do is be able to set the privacy okay right now I have it set where um, it's a hidden link so it's a public link but the link will be hidden from Google in public areas of Padlet um, so right now it's also set that it's hidden that I'll have to share the link with them and that people can write on this so they can make posts too if I just want it where they can view I can do that as well okay so you can change that um, you know if I have a web page I just want them playing with it but not editing it then I would change it to view only okay so this has been and there's other options as well but that's how I would use it so this has been a quick tutorial on how to use Padlet um, I think you'll find it very useful and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask um, I also suggest that you go and look uh, down. go look at their home page for ideas um, here is the gallery that you can look through and get an inspiration for what other people have done okay and you can um, play based on what you see from other people as well thank you so much have a good one